Hello my creative and crafty friends. This is Gloria Plunkett with designsbygloria.com. My husband made me this bow maker for my bow challenge friends um, several months back. I've given some away as a complimentary gift and I wanted to just make a little video kind of reminder to show you again how to use your bow maker. I'm going to use three different size ribbons. You can use any size ribbon that you want to on this type of bow maker. Uh, right now I'm going to use a 3 8 inch metallic edge ribbon. I, leave, I like to leave it on the spool. I don't like to be wasteful. So I take a piece and I wrap it around my two dowels. I like to leave usually two whole spaces between dowels for a ribbon that goes on a regular card project. So whatever your need is, just move the dowels um, back and forth wherever you need them. Just They kind of get replaced. So I like to leave two holes in between the dowels. Then I take the ribbon and I wrap it in the front of the, this is considered the front, this is considered the back, and the front of the bow maker. And then I bring the right loop, because I'm right-handed. If you're left, it's probably easier to use a left-handed, your left loop. So I take the loop on the right and cross it over the front, then tuck it down the center of the bow maker, bring it up and back. Then I simply tie a little not back here. This becomes the front of my bow and then I kind of move this back and forth until I center it just perfectly like I want it and then I tie it taut. And then I look in the front and it's a perfect bow. Pull it up and there you go. A beautiful perfect bow. And you know what? This is not going to come apart. See how it just I'm tugging on it and nothing happens. So all you need to do now is trim your little ribbon ends and place it on your project with some glue dots or whatever adhesive you use. I wanted to show you again how to do this with a thinner bow. You can make double bows, triple bows, single bows, whatever you need. Let me show you real quickly how to make a double bow. So I loop it around the front like I did previously. Loop it around the front and loop it around the front again for a double bow. I cross it over on the right to left, tuck it under the center of the bow maker, bring it back over all the loops, and then just simply tie it a little knot back here. Center my knot, make sure it's perfectly centered, and look at there, a perfect double bow. Is that not fun? My customers are absolutely loving this, and I hope you will too. So. That's how you do a double bow and a thinner ribbon. Now I'm going to show you how to use it with some linen thread. This time, let's say we want a triple bow. So I'm going to do the same thing. Pull some ribbon out. Wrap it around the dowels. One, two, three times. Bring right over left. Tuck it down the center of the bow maker. Pull it up over the front and bring it back. Center your little bow. Tie you a little knot, nice and taut. Pull it straight up and look at there. How is that for a perfect little bow? Is that not adorable? Okay, my friends, I hope this helps you um, remember how to use this bow maker. I am going to give one of these bow makers away. If you want a chance to win, simply leave me a comment below. You give me a thumbs up on my video and subscribe and you will automatically be entered. I will be giving this bow maker away on Sunday, which would be the, what's today, the 9th, the 12th of May, Mother's Day. What a great gift is going to be, right? So I'll be giving this away to a lucky winner. And I also want you to come back so I can share with you how to create this adorable little fox card. Is that not the cutest thing? I think my granddaughter's going to love it. All Stampin' Up! products, um, so I'll show you how to create that. Thanks for visiting with me today. I appreciate you stopping by. I know you have um, uh, your time is limited, so I want to make sure that I use your time wisely. Thank you so much. Be blessed. Love you. Bye-bye.